Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where and how to build houses in the new Skyrim Remastered game. Now, I know there are a lot of players who actually know how to do this already, but for those of you like myself who never played any of the DLCs and never actually got around to doing this, this guide will be pretty useful. So, yeah, I hope that I can help a couple of you guys out. And if I did, don't forget to leave a like on the video and make sure to check my channel for more Skyrim guides, as I will have them up pretty much bi daily for the next couple of months. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, let's get into this very quick and easy guide. Okay, so firstly, what you will want to do is travel to Falkreath. It can be found pretty much at the bottom left-hand side of the map, or right-hand side, I guess. Uh, but this is probably the easiest place to actually acquire a building permit, uh, as, yeah, it's very easy, but there are different places you can actually build houses, but today we're going to be doing it around the area of here. Now, as you get to this place, you will find this house right here, in which is home to the Jarl of Falkreef. It's kind of like a mayor, I guess. And once you go inside, he should be sat here, right here on his throne. Just go over and talk to him, and it'll actually prompt you to ask him for work. And he will actually tell you that uh, he loves to have black briar mead he loves it and he wants some fresh from Riften. and it's actually pretty easy guys it's a very easy quest to do it took me maybe about 10 minutes i believe something like that uh, probably even quicker but just accept the quest go out and get the mead Okay, so I just traveled to Riften, and I've just got the Blackbriar Mead. It pretty much took me around about five minutes. It was a very quick and easy quest, very easy to do. And what we're going to do is give it to the Jarl of Falkreef, and he'll give you a little something in return. But that is not it just yet. We need to actually ask him for a little bit more work. Just ask him, and he will then tell you about a couple of bandits that have been kind of making his job a little bit uneasy. And he'll tell you that they're at an abandoned mine in which you have to go down and kill every single one of them. Now, the mine isn't actually that far away. You just pull up your map, it'll give you the location, and then all you have to do is go and kill the people inside of there. There's around about, I think, maybe about seven or eight people, maybe. And honestly, guys, if you are a low level, don't even worry about it. They are so easy to kill. It just takes you a couple of minutes, and you're pretty much done. After you've killed them, what you want to do is just exit the mine, go back to Falkreef, and we're going to find the Jarl of here once more. So once you've actually found him, just go and tell him that you've killed the leader of Ember Shard, and he will say, thank you very much, you deserve a reward for your service. And he'll actually give you a plot of land around his town. Now, this plot of land doesn't come cheap, it's actually, I think, 5,000 gold coins, I, I believe. I may be wrong on that, don't quote me, I am very sorry about that. But, basically, what you have to do is go and speak to his, kind of, servant guy. I guess. I cannot remember what they call these guys, but you just say, listen, I want to take the land, give them the 5,000 gold, and then you can now build your own house around the Falkreef town. It's actually pretty cool, and when everyone told me it's probably the shittiest one that you can find, I was really not expecting much, but then once I got here and started building, I was like, holy shit, this is a cool-ass house. So once you get to this plot of land anyway that I'm at right now, you will see that there is actually a workbench right here or a drafting table I guess just press A to use it or X and then it'll give you a little bit of a layout you can build a small house a large house I don't know whatever it basically tells you to build you can build it you know so as you can see there is the layout of your house this is pretty much where it's gonna be it's kind of cool the way they added it it's really immersive in that kind of way but over here you will find the carpenter's workbench here you can build pretty much the foundations the windows the roofs everything like that and yeah it doesn't come cheap like i said guys you will need a lot of resources for this a lot of money and this is pretty much my end result of my house it looks absolutely insane and considering everyone told me that it looked like the worst out of all of them i was like what 
how good can the other ones be, you know? But, yeah, guys, it's not as great as the Fallout 4 kind of building system. Obviously, this game came out many years before Fallout 4. Uh, God, I wish it was like Fallout 4, but unfortunately it's not. But it's still pretty good. I actually really missed out on this on the original Skyrim. I am so, so horrified that I missed out on all of this. Now another thing, once you actually get inside the house, as you did see, there is yet again another workbench. In here, you can create things such as sit shelves, uh, bookcases, uh, dining tables, lights, everything like that. Every kind of furnishing that you would want in your house. And it only takes a couple of minutes to build it. There's no kind of waiting time or anything like that. And in each individual room, you will find one of these benches. You just go into it, tell it what you want to build, I guess, and it'll place it all down. As you can see, I'm pretty much building everything. I'm just going to shove everything into my houses on this game as I like them looking full. And look at that. I mean, that main hallway right here is absolutely insane uh, but guys i am very happy to have brought you this guide i do hope that i did help you out for those of you who didn't know you could actually do this and if i did please remember to leave a like and make sure that you go over to my channel for more skyrim by daily guides anyway guys i hope you have a fantastic day and until next time i've been star lord oh see ya